Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and I have a really fun project for you. I am starting to get into back to school mode, thinking of back to school treats, treats for teachers. Um, of course, this isn't necessarily teacher themed, but I always think primary colors when I think of school and the your number one, you know, every teacher would like to hear that, but this would be great for a coach, for a friend, for a boss, anybody. Um, and you could even change the sentiment to make this a little birthday treat. All right, so what do you think is inside? Let me show you. I'm gonna slide the ribbon off, pull off the box, and have you guys seen these? I don't know, I've never seen these. Russell Stover S'mores. I found them over in my grocery stores, Russell Stover section where they kind of have fancy candy and they were uh, just a dollar. And if you don't have them at your grocery store, I'm gonna list a link on my blog post where they're on Amazon and they were the exact same price, a dollar. So um, yummy, right? A fun kind of little decadent treat for somebody. So I'm gonna put that back in the box and I'm gonna show you how to make this, this box. It's not too easy, uh, not too <laughs> difficult, um, and I think it's uh, pretty easy, and you could make quite a few. All right, so let's get started. Let me tell you what I am using. The stamp set is called World's Best Trophy, and I'm using this funny looking hand right here, and the your number one. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now remember, all the measurements and the product information will be on my blog. If you're watching this on YouTube, hop over to my blog and you'll find it all there. The link is in the description. The first thing you're gonna need is a piece of real red cardstock that measures four and a half by seven and a half. And we're gonna score the long side first. Two and a half, three and a half, six and seven. And then we're gonna score the short side at one inch. Pretty simple score lines. Now we wanna first trim off this little rectangle here in the corner, right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut apart all of these bottom tabs. And then I'm going to just cut out a little sliver from each of the larger tabs. This will help our box go together a little more smoothly. That way there won't be any bulky edges poking out at the end, hopefully. Okay, and you know what? You can also cut off the corner here and here. Sometimes when I score and measure, they're not perfect. Imagine that. I know that probably doesn't happen to you guys, but when I do it, sometimes things aren't perfect. And if I cut off those corners, it helps things line up a little bit better. All right, so let's burnish all those lines and put our box together. Now I'm using Fast Fuse. I'm gonna put some right there. Whoops, getting out of line. Put some right there on that tab and pushing it down right there. That's the, the first part of the box. Now we're gonna fold in those little tabs at the bottom and fold them in. I want, this is the back edge, wherever you can see that rough edge, I want that to be the back side of my box. So I'm gonna make sure that I fold that tab in first and fold the front tab in last. That way you can just see the folded edges and not any back side edges of cardstock. All right, now we're gonna take some of this Birthday Memories DSP, two pieces. This measures two and three eighths by three and three eighths. I'm gonna put one on the front and one on the back. Now they did have um, some other flavors of s'mores. I believe there was a dark chocolate one. Look how nicely that fits down in that box, right? All right, let's do the lid now. This time I'm using Daffodil Delight cardstock and it measures four and a half by three. And this time I'm just gonna do a one inch score line on all four sides. Really simple. And I'm gonna cut those score lines on the ends and I'm gonna cut those tabs right off at, a, at an angle, just diagonally. See how I did that? Let's do the same thing on this side. Snip, snip, and diagonal, diagonal. All right, let's fold them all in. And I'm gonna fold these in like that and that's gonna go right over that. So I'm gonna take my fast fuse 
and put a little bit of fast fuse right on each of those triangles and fold them in matching these edges right here whoops don't push it in until it's right that fast fuse stays in place you don't want to get it in the wrong place all right there is our lid and I'm gonna slide that on just like that all right now you can see these kind of rough edges that I was talking about I don't like seeing that sticking out but on this one we're gonna take this DSP and we're gonna wrap it all the way all the way around I'm not gonna score it I'm just gonna wrap it around I find that's a little bit easier and I also find that it's easier when you have the the treat in the box and the lid on the box it gives you a solid surface to work on so this is another piece of the birthday memories DSP and it measures 3 fourths by 8 and I'm gonna start on the front let's see this is the front side of my box and I'm just gonna kind of center it carefully go slowly because you have that fast fuse in place wrap it around press down and overlap and there you have it you can kind of you know push in those lines there on the corners isn't that fun i think that looks like a fun birthday uh party favor too all right so let's take some ribbon this is called the pacific point stitched edge ribbon it's really cute it reminds me of a baseball it's kind of got that that cute side stitching like a baseball I'm going to put it on the bottom make sure it's not twisted you want it straight on those sides tie your bow and before you pull those tight just make sure that those little legs coming through aren't twisted that way it'll stay nice and straight and cut those off at an angle and there's your box all right, let's make the tag really quickly. This is simple to do. I am using powder pink for the hand, but powder pink is a little too pink. So I'm actually gonna stamp off over here once and then stamp like that. And when I stamp over it with this black, you'll see, I think, see how I think that's just too pink to be a skin color. I'm gonna take this hand and I'm sorry if I put my head in the screen I've got to line it up there we go perfect you can see through those photopolymer stamps so nicely and I'm taking my Pacific Point marker and I'm gonna color in that little sleeve right there and then I'm gonna use the sentiment with some real red ink your number one and put it right there all right one and a half one and a half circle punch don't you love when it's simple we can use a circle or a punch and not have to even get out the big shot i love my big shot but i love when i can use a punch too now these are our new gold gold library clips and i can't stop using them they're so fun and so many come in the bag i can't remember it says 20 that's a lot I love clips. I love to clip things on bows, as you guys may have noticed. So I really like how that looks. Now I'm going to use a little mini dimensional to add this tag onto that clip, like this, right there. And then we're done. Awesome. Two treats for my two little ones to take to school, and I'm done. Awesome. I hope you guys like this project. Remember all the measurements and score lines and product information are on my blog. Hop over, visit. I have more photos there for you to look at. And let me know if you have questions, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.